Okay, so we have our Nova 28 here that had the uh, severely blown connecting rod. I found no brass anywhere, so I'm assuming that it had no bushing. So anyways, not too impressed with the quality, but anyhow, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace the connecting rod and show you how we do that. So you're going to note that there is, well obviously there is a right and a wrong way to put this in. We're going to need some kind of, oh, there's some castor oil. Clean working space, clean parts, important. So you're going to notice that there's one side that has no chamfer. There's a side that has a chamfer. The side that have the, the chamfer goes in towards the crankshaft. So we know that this is the exhaust side, this is the intake side. So we know we want that chamfer to be on the same side as this cutaway. And we're going to get to removing the wrist pin. There's a tiny clip in there. You want to be careful not to damage that clip. If you have a new one to replace it with, then do that. You just kind of want to carefully, ever so carefully. And you don't want to lose this either because if you don't have this clip, uh, what can happen is uh, the pin will rattle out. Oh, there you go, almost got it. There we go. It's almost like installing piston rings. Very similar. <coughs> okay, so now that we have that removed, I want to remove the pin itself. I'm going to use my pick. We're going to push the pin out. We don't need to remove the pin all the way. And there's our severely damaged connecting rod. <laughs> so we're going to stick this guy back together. Yeah, okay, so we want, like I said, there's the cutaway here, which makes room so it doesn't hit the crankshaft. We want the cutaway, or not the cutaway, but the chamfer here to go to that side. So we're going to open up our castor oil. Put some in the pin bore. Because you don't want to be putting shit together dry. All these parts are super clean, by the way. Slide it back together, like that. Everything should move freely, there should be no binding anywhere. Like I said, the cutaway for the piston has the same size as the chamfer and the rod. Now here comes the fun part, is putting the pin, or the pin clip back in. We want to make sure that our pin is all the way seated. And you want to, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Start with, oops. This can be quite difficult. You want to start with the center first and then work the clip around, holding it with your thumbnail. And get yourself your pick. Careful not to scratch the piston. And then just push. I'm going to try, try to carefully do this. You can usually do it with your thumbnail too. And for crying out loud, you don't want to lose that clip, whatever you do. Because if it goes flying away on you, you can't just buy the clip oftentimes. There you go. So you want to make sure it makes a snap when it goes in all the way. That means it's all the way seated go all the way around. And then we want to try to seat it again by pushing on the pin with our pick. That way it's seated both directions. And there we go. That's how you replace the connecting rod for a Nova 28. So that one's uh well, obviously I don't even have to really explain what happened here, but I just found it very funny when I disassembled this motor that there's a bronze bushing here and it's usually stuck to the crank pin itself. There wasn't one. So I don't know what all that's about unless it disintegrated or something like that. But other than that, that's how it done. That's how it's done. So now what we do is we put our piston back in the motor with the, like I said, the cutaway side facing in like that. So the long side is always facing towards the exhaust, so it doesn't hit. Some engines are different, so keep that in mind. Take pictures when you have things apart. But uh, there it is for now. 
So that's going to sit back on the motor and wait for its bearings to show up. Anyways, a uh, quick little bit on how to replace a connecting rod. Keep burning nitros always, guys.